This book is called Learning About Rocks by Mari Sha and Gail Saunders Smith. What are rocks? Tiny rocks line beaches. Tall mountains reach high in the sky. Rocks are almost everywhere. Where can you find rocks? Look at that beach completely covered. And then you see, looks like a mountain stream with some mossy covered rocks in the water. Rocks are solid minerals. A rock, I'm sorry, a mineral is something found in nature that isn't made by people, plants, or animals. The science word for that is inorganic. Organic means living and inorganic is non-living. Earth is a rocky planet. The crust is solid rock. Below the crust is molten rock called the mantle. Earth's core is molten and solid. Very, very hot inside the earth. So there's the different layers the inner core and the outer core are both part of the core. And then the mantle is this part. And if you notice, the crust is what we walk on and live on. It's the surface. It's actually very, very thin compared to the entire rest of the planet. Kinds of rocks. Three main kinds of rocks are found on Earth. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks form in different ways. There's an example of an igneous rock, and you see the different colors in these rocks because, remember, rocks are made of multiple minerals together. Sedimentary, and you can see the different layers of the rocks, different sediment that has been pressed down over many, many years. And then metamorphic which has been pushed together from heat and pressure. Granite is a kind of igneous rock formed when magma cools underground. Obsidian is an igneous rock formed when magma cools above ground. So there's where granite would be found, and there is some obsidian. And a lot of times we see the obsidian as being very shiny and black. Layers of tiny rocks, sand, and mud build up over time. Pressure hardens this sediment into rock. Sedimentary rocks like shale and sandstorm, sandstone form. There's shale. Look at how beautiful that sandstone is. Look at all the layers. It's amazing. Hmm. What does that look like to you? It reminds me of when our fourth graders did a fossil dig. Fossils are found in sedimentary rock. Fossils are the remains of plants and animals that were buried in sediment. So remember, rocks are inorganic. They never were ever part of anything that was alive. But fossils are organic because they came from living things. So they can be mixed in with the rock. Metamorphic rocks are made from other rocks. Heat and pressure deep inside Earth can change rocks from one kind to another. Marble is a metamorphic rock. Some people have fancy countertops or even floors made out of marble. It's usually very smooth and you can see how this is set into the ground and how that machine is actually cutting it into chunks that people will then carve into the shapes that they want. Always changing. Wind, water, heat, and pressure slowly break down rocks. Rocks are always changing. In the future, the rocks around you could look different. Look at the rocks in this picture and Take a look and observe what do you think is causing the rocks to change here? Something I notice is even this big hole right in the middle of the rock. I don't know that the rock formed in that shape 
but rather that something carved that hole into it. What do you think did that? And remember, the rocks near you are not going to be changing in a matter of days or weeks or months or probably even in your lifetime very much. It's a slow process that happens on a constant basis, but over many, many, many years.